Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you are all still safe and doing well. We got through our first week of online learning, and now we are working on our second week. So boys and girls, I have a question for you. Who remembers what this is called? Hmm. If you're not sure, it's called, it starts with an er, but I think most of you probably remember. If you guessed a wreck and wreck, you are correct. We are going to show our mommies and daddies how to play Not My Way. Are you guys ready? Now, hopefully over the weekend, your mommies and daddies had a chance to make a wreck and wreck. Um, and if they didn't, that's okay. There are different ways that we can play this game. So I'm going to start by giving you a number. Do you have your Wreck and Rex out in front of you? All right, are you ready? We're going to start with this number. What number is that? All right. Now, if you remember how to play Not My Way, you are going to know that Mrs. Marr is going to make the number three with her Wreck and Rex, and you guys have to try and make that number the way I make it. So let's see who's going to be able to guess. Okay, I have mine and it's hidden. All right. I wonder who has the same numbers as I have. All right, let's see. Hannah. How did you make the number three? Well, Hannah, that's a good way, but I'm not sure if that's my way. Let's wait and see. We're going to play this game a little bit different because Mrs. Marr can't see your answers. Only your mommies or your daddies can. So we're going to ask a few different people to see how they did it. All right, now I'm going to ask Gracie. Gracie, how did you do it? Well, that's a good way, Gracie, but I'm not sure that that's Mrs. Marr's way. We'll have to wait and see. Ready? We'll do one more. Nolan. Well, that's a good way, Nolan, but I'm not sure it's my way. So I'm going to show you my way now. Ready? This is how Mrs. Marr did hers. So I have how many on the top? And how many on the bottom? Right, so I have one on the top and two on the bottom. So that means, or must mean, that one, I don't know if you can see this in the light, I'll show you in a second, plus two more equals how much? Equals three. One plus two equals three. All right, let's try another number. Moms and dads, you can um, play this with any numbers to 10. You can even do with some of um, our older kids, our SK friends. You can do this with the number um, numbers to 20. It's completely up to you because we do have um, 20, 20 beads on here, we have 10 on the top and 10 on the bottom. So it's totally up to you how you do this with your child, but we're gonna play this game one more time. All right. I'm gonna make the number. What number is that? If you said eight, you are correct. Number eight. Okay, are you ready? Get those wreck and wrecks done. I wonder how many you're going to put on the top and how many you're going to put on the bottom. All right, I'm ready, are you ready? All right, let's see. Ashton, how many did you make or how did you make eight? Well, Ashton, that's a good way, but I'm not sure if that's my way. We'll have to wait and see. All right, who are we gonna ask next? How be we at Zoe? What did you make? Well, Zoe, that's a good way, but 
but I'm not sure if that's my way. We'll have to wait and see. All right, last one. Everly, how did you make the number eight? Well, Everly, that's a good way, but I'm not sure if that's my way. Should we find out how Mrs. Marr did it? Are you ready? Who can tell me how I made eight? What did I do on mine? I'll put it nice and close for you. All right, so Mrs. Marr made three on the top and five on the bottom. So that means that three plus what? What did I say I put on the bottom? Five equals how many all together? Eight, that is correct. Look at this, whoop, there we go. You can see it a little bit better. Okay, great job. And thank you for playing with me, boys and girls. Moms and dads, you can play this as many times as you want with um, your child. They could also do it on their own. What you can do um, with them is put all the numbers to 10 in a container and then pull out a number at a time and have them do that. An extension to this activity, of course, is writing the number sentence and showing us um, the numbers that way in a number sentence. All right, so I really hope that you have lots of fun with this little activity and this little game that we love to play in our classroom. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Bye, boys and girls. I'll see you again. Take care. Bye.